All right, CFO athletes, today's quad for 6 27 2020, Groundhog Day. I feel like I've seen this one before. Anyways, for time, we'll do a 600 meter run, 50 single dumbbell power clean and jerks, suggested weights 50 and 35, 400 meter run, then go 30 goblet squats with 50 or 35, 200 meter run here, different with the dumbbell, and then we'll go back, back up with 30 goblet squats. 400 meter run, 50 single dumbbell power clean and jerks, and a 600 meter run. So it's a descending, ascending ladder. Uh, so let's talk about this workout here. So uh, as you can see here, I've got some of my notes, but I'll probably just read them off right here. So uh, for the weight that you choose for this workout, let's think about a light to moderate uh, dumbbell weight or odd object on which you could do about 25 reps on uh, broken. Uh, for the power cleaning jerks, let's talk about that. We want the head of the weight, um, both heads, to touch the ground. So let's demo that real quick. Power clean, we're gonna keep it in, the, in between your legs there. Get into power clean position. We're gonna stand up tall, like deadlift. We're gonna shrug with the shoulders, fast elbows up. Elbows up and drive up. You're gonna alternate every rip. You can jerk it or you can push press. So power clean and then push press. Power clean, jerk. For the goblet squats, um, just same thing as the air squat. We're trying to get a little parallel on each rep, come to full extension. So, get your dumbbell, squat, sit up tall. And for your dumbbell, running with your dumbbell, um, it's gonna be an interesting movement. So the two ways that you can carry this dumbbell, um, the typical standards are farmer carry or shoulder. So for farmer's carry, you're just gonna hold on to with your arm and then run with it. Keeping that soft legs, don't walk out. Or you can keep it on your shoulder, over your shoulder, onto your shoulder. Whichever way you can carry it. Um, for modifications, Let's talk about the power clean jerk. You can do your odd object clean and jerk. You can do a barbell if you have it, that's great. Uh, kettlebell swings or slam balls. Uh, for the goblet squats, you could just do air squats. Again, you can do an odd object if you have that or reverse lunges to opt there. And then for the run with a dumbbell, you can opt out of using the dumbbell weight. You can use, you can just run 400 meters uh, for the 600 meter run, 400 meter run without dumbbells, you can do a 750 meter, for the 600 meters, you could do a 750 row, a 1500 meter bike, or calories on the assault bike. 42 calories for the men, 30 for the women. Uh, for the 400 meters, you can do a 500 meter row, 1000 meter bike, or 25 calories, 18 calories on the assault bike for, for men or women. Uh, and so. I wish you guys all the best on that workout. It sounds pretty nasty, but it sounds like it'd be a really fun, fun workout. And for those who are done with the workout and like need a little bit more, we do have an after party written up. So after party, full time after you've rested from Groundhog Day, 100 meter single dumbbell front front walk lunges. On the minute, so you're gonna, whatever it takes to do your 100 meter single dumbbell front walk lunge, Every minute that it takes on the minute, you're gonna do four alternate single dumbbell squat clean. So it's gonna go like this. At the beginning of the clock, you're gonna start with the four alternate dumbbell squat cleans. Again, dumbbell in the center, shrug, front squat.
gonna take your single dumbbell in the front and you're gonna front walk lunge. And you're gonna walk, front walk lunge 100 meters. It's gonna be a good one. So uh, enjoy that after party and uh, we'll see you guys on Sunday.